Hello, and welcome to Moon Mist Journeys. My name is Carly, and I'm here to share with you another message from Spirit. Please remember that these messages may or may not resonate, so take what fits and leave what doesn't. So the first card that you guys received is card number 31, and that is Ascended Masters. What this card is letting me know is that the energy that's present, currently present in your life, it is a very intense and powerful one. Spirit is telling me that right now you are in the process of really ascending and blooming. You're, you're becoming closer to your highest calling here. You also received the Magician card. And again, this really mirrors the energy of the Ascended Masters. The Magician symbolizes the ability to manifest and create at will. Being card number one, it really symbolizes how the possibilities of creation for you right now are infinite and expansive. You are very powerful at this time. As you are creating your inner world, your outer world is about to follow suit. I sense for some of you, you really are creating opportunities for a great love to come in, or you've really just been nurturing your current relationship. You have worked on yourself to a point where you are now comfortable receiving love where in the past for you although you wanted and you craved for a deep love you were not loving towards yourself but you have really been doing the work here and you're now in a position where you are effortlessly able to both give and receive in equal measure. I'm noticing that your self-love has is really now showing on the outside and I sense that multiple suitors are are headed your way if if not already. You're like a magnet at this time people are very drawn into you and even if it's not romantic you you are having new opportunities for friendship coming in as well i'm also feeling here that you're really putting off an energy of determination and your inner drive is very strong at this time i'm noticing that you're definitely at a state of being proactive when it comes to harnessing career opportunities so you may have recently just decided to switch a career or you have set off on your own personal career venture and it's it's just surrounded with a lot of intense positive energy here i see you're really making use of all of the skills that you have it's so beautiful the feeling of self-empowerment that I'm getting with you guys. It's, it's a very beautiful strength that you empower. You've been taking action, like the cheetah in this card here. You really are a symbol of speed, but with grace and also quite capable. Whatever it is that you're focused on on this time, you are very well equipped. You have the power of all four elements to use at your disposal, and yeah, now is the time to use them. So you've also received the card Tree, which is about grounding, and that's going along with the Strength card. So what I'm seeing here is that it's very important for you right now to to really ground yourself due to like the surges of power and energies that are flowing through you and around you. So if you've been feeling a bit spacey and disconnected from your body, 
just try to connect to the earth in whichever ways that feel best for you. That could be walking in nature. If you could do that barefoot, if you're in a climate that allows for it right now, that's even better. Um, but even if you can just spend some more time outdoors, that would be really beneficial for you right now. I think you should really make it a point to get outdoors at least, at least once every day. Another option for you could be connecting and working with crystals. Um, crystals are great. I mean, you can sit in meditation and hold a crystal and connect with it. But um, personally, I like, I like to carry my crystals around with me. That's an easy way to harness grounding energies, even with the busy lifestyle that I'm noticing that you are currently in. Yeah, even though you are really busy right now and you're doing a lot, please find time, make time for self-care. I'd really recommend for you doing salt baths. Um, and again, depending on your current climate, if you could actually um, go into the ocean, that would be, that would be even better. Other options for you to ground could be, you know, doing yoga, um, dancing, or some form of martial arts. It would also just help your body, you know, help you get more in touch with your body and lessen your mind. Acupuncture is another great option. Spirit is also telling me, um, for some of you, Another great way to ground would be just to spend some quality time with your pets or working with other animals. Um, for someone specific, um, working with horses, I think is something that it, it has spiritual meaning for you. It makes you feel closer to God and you should definitely go out of your way to be around horses or offer you know, to do some work with them. Spirit is also recommending breath work at this time. Um, personally, I really love if you just go onto YouTube and you search, um, it's either called like alkaline breathing or breath of fire. I'd highly recommend it. It's very powerful. It, it almost, well, yeah, it makes you feel high. I know at least like the first first few times I've done it, I definitely was glad that I was sitting down because I know that if I was standing up, I probably would have like fallen over just from like the overwhelming like rush of, you know, awesomeness <laughs> just from doing the breathing cycles there. So yep, definitely recommended. Yeah, I'm seeing that these grounding techniques, they're just gonna give you the extra boost of what you need to really, you know, be the master of your own emotions. Spirit wants you to really harness these powerful, powerful energies that you're experiencing and this success energy. They really want you to be mindful, to find your most patient, composed self. You're really going to need the focus and the self-control that grounding will provide you during this time. Yeah, being sure to ground, it's, it's just going to help you, you know, find moments where you get out of your head and back into your heart. And your heart is where all of your strength lies to conquer all of, all of the things that you're, you're doing right now. So with the card full moon completion along with the nine of pentacles i'm seeing here that the period of just working hard you know really grinding but not seeing any result that is over for you spirit is wanting you to really let yourself feel the contentment and the satisfaction of your accomplishments they want you to, to really feel free to let go and allow yourself to relax a bit now. Spirit really wants you to appreciate and honor yourself along with honoring 
the natural cycles of release that follows an accomplishment. So yeah, if you find your emotions kind of getting the best of you here, just allow yourself to really feel everything that comes up for you. I'm sensing that the accomplishment may trigger may trigger up a lot for you just because this isn't something that you're used to. It's almost like your body doesn't know how to handle the success. Again, I do think that that's another reason why the grounding is just so crucial for you at this time. Yeah, and with the Nine of Pentacles, it's it's just say, staying saying again how you've really reached a stage in your life where you're feeling independent, maybe for the first time ever in your life. You're filled with this confidence and a self-sufficiency that it's, it's just bringing you so much joy. I'm sensing that previously in your life, you just, you were never allowed to feel safe and secure and you're getting that now. You're really, you either are experiencing or you're about to experience the freedom that material wealth can actually bring. Yeah, you've, you've definitely faced some previous challenges in your life, but what I'm seeing here is that your challenges, they, they are what gave you the wider perspective, you know, that you needed to understand the spiritual value of your current successes. Just knowing inside how difficult it was for you to get here, that's really what's made it, it's made you more able to know the value of the blessings that are all around you and that you're receiving at this time. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed your reading today. Um, if you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more readings. Many blessings to you. Take care.